Hello and welcome back to the lesson 5 of this tutorial series. In our previous tutorial, we had created this uh, movid underscore ws workspace for our tutorials. In our today's tutorial, we will see how to export the URDA package from SOLIDWORKS and how to import it in your Catkin workspace. Today, I will not explain how to export the URDA package from SOLIDWORKS because I have already explained it in the lesson 1 to 3 of this tutorial series. So if you haven't watched it yet, you can visit this link and watch the tutorial. So we are going to use this uh, robotic arm for our tutorial. So if you look at the URDA package that gets exported from SOLIDWORKS, it contains following folders and files like config, launch, meshes, textures, URDF, and it contains three files like cmake, uh, lists.txt, export.txt, and package.xml. So these files have different significance. I will not explain them. You can read it from uh, here. I will provide this PDF in the video description. But uh, the two files, uh, sorry, uh, the few folders that we need to configure is we need to configure the URDF file available in the URDF folder so that it can be used for the simulation. We need to also modify the cmake list.txt to add some important dependencies for building our package. And also we need to uh, add some dependencies in the package.xml file. So let's get started. If you want to use the same URDA package that I am using of my robotic arm, you can download it from here. So first I will download it from here for you. I will copy the link address. I will go to my browser. I will paste the link and press enter. You can download the file from here. Once downloaded, open your downloads folder and you will find the file available here. Extract the file here. Then copy the uh, package folder and go to your catkin workspace. So my workspace is this move it underscore ws. You may have a different name. After opening your workspace, go to the src folder and paste the uh, copied package here. Now we have added the uh, robotic arm package in the catkin workspace. If you open this package, you will find various folders uh, as I explained. In this tutorial, uh, we will see how to configure this cmake list.txt and this package.xml file to add it the uh, important dependencies. So first thing is the default cmake list.txt file is very basic and does not contain other important dependencies for our simulation. So we need to edit that. So I will adjust this PDF a little bit and I will open this in the text editor. Uh, let's arrange it a little bit. So, so uh, if you compare the PDF and this file, you will see everything will be same uh, as per this year. So I have given this uh, code snippet which looks before uh, editing. So if you see everything is same because it is for same URDA package. If you have created your own URDF, the only difference will be this uh, project name. Everything, the other things will be same for your uh, URDF file as well. So we need to add some uh, important dependencies in this file. So if you scroll down in the PDF, uh, I have given how to edit this uh, cmake list.txt file. So here we need to uh, add some dependencies in the find package catkin required. So here we are going to add the message generation ROS CPP, ROS PI, STD MSGS, Geometry MSGS, URDA, Zacro, and message generation uh, package dependencies. And uh, in the catkin package, catkin depends, we need to add the various packages like Geometry MSGS, uh, ROS CPP, ROS PI, and STD MSGS. So uh, if you see here, the first two lines are same here. And the uh, lines after this uh, find package are same like here and here. So what can you do here is 
uh, you can copy this code from this uh, find package uh, line find package catkin required components and copy it up to this uh, catkin package uh, this uh, whole thing and press ctrl c on your keyboard uh, carefully see uh, what I have selected and now here you need to select these lines the line number 5 and line number 6 and you need to delete them and then paste the lines that we had copied so here you can see we had kept the lines at the bottom as it is like uh, these one sorry uh, these one and also we have kept the lines uh, these uh, the at the top one as it is now what you can do is you can indent the code a little bit you can select this code and press the tab button on your keyboard and also select this one and press the tab button on your keyboard so the indentation does not matter here but you can make it for easily reading or make the file easily readable so make sure you do the changes as it is do not miss any line or it may cause the issue if you remove any of the line from here now save the file and close it next is uh, we need to edit the uh, package.xml file so also this file uh, generated by default is very basic we need to modify it a little bit for uh, more dependencies so open the package.xml file so I will open it using the text editor and I will take it a little bit to the side now here also if you see uh, this one uh, the code given here and uh, in your package.xml file will be same so here also we need to add some dependencies so if you scroll down here I have given uh, what dependencies you need to add in the green lines if you see here uh, we need to keep everything same up to the build tool depend catkin slash build tool depend if you find this line it is on the line number 12 so I will add uh, enter or I will add some space so that we can identify and also if you see at the bottom this export architecture uh, independent is same so I will also add this uh, here now what you can do is you can remove the line 16 uh, 17 18 19 and 20 as shown here so don't uh, go on the line numbers go on this code like you need to remove this depend ROS launch depend robot state publisher or these lines which I have selected here so remove them and from the uh, given file that I from the PDF copy the code from this line build depends so the lines which starts with uh, build depend and copy then uh, copy the code up to the execution depend tags so uh, see carefully what I have selected in this file now copy this code use control C and click here between the build tool depend catkin build tool depend and the export tag and paste the code here so here you don't need to follow any indentation because this is a XML file so this is fine also you can make some changes here is so here if you see on line number two the name of robot is given here sorry the name of the package is given here you don't need to change it here is some description of your URDF package is given here you can mention the uh, author name so I will add my name and if you want to add you can add your email address here so if anyone is using your package he can can contact you to solve the queries now save the file and close it now we are done with editing our dependencies for the cmakelist.txt and the package.xml file in our next tutorial we are going to modify the urdf file which is available in the urdf folder so this file is uh, very basic so we need to modify it by adding some actuators and gazebo uh, plugins so please uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial and do not forget to watch it please hit the like button uh, if you like my videos do subscribe my channel and do share my videos with your friends who also want to learn about ROS thank you so much